Run, river, run, run through the hills. Run, river, run to the sea. Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun. Run, river, run over me. Hi, this is Jan Lewis. Welcome to be my guest today. We have from Dudley. We have an author, poet, and an artist all rolled into one. Her name is Sky Bovin. I said it right, right? Boivin? Boivin. 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 Beautiful. <laughs> Sky, and then B-O-I-V-I-N. And this young lady has written so many books. <laughs> I, where did you find the time? What? Look. <laughs> were these a No one's of... around at 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I know. But... I, hey, I'll even, uh, if I'm walking the trails and stuff like that, yep. I'll uh, keep a journal with me or I'll pull out my phone and just record myself as I'm walking the trail. And okay. just recite poems. We've had, though, this is your latest? It, uh, that, I, 2015. Okay. I, uh, that one was a six year process from well, beginning to where's end. Where's your latest one? My latest, well, this one here would be one of the newest ones. Yeah. Um, Maybe, I, did I get, no, I guess I didn't get any. Well, because I just released them, I don't have physical copies okay. yet. Okay. All right. They're, they're, they're all on digital, though. They're all Every, digital? I have everything on digital, and then I, oh. I, I print to order. I thought you were going to tell me the only way I could get it was like to read it on one of those Kindle. Jeez, okay. You you can't, but you can also pull it up on the laptop too. I like but I like holding I, on. Yeah. All right, so here's one of them. <laughs> Their hope within the flames. We'll talk about them, okay, as we go along. Absolutely. The sisters' two chronicles. Where do you get all these ideas? <laughs> A twisted vine. Is this the poetry? Yeah. Poetry. This yes. is poetry. And. This one, too, The Alice Poems, and Life Without You, A Hunter's Tale. Now, of all of these, which was the one you started with? Uh, well, for what you have in your hand, Their Hope Within the Flames would have been the first one. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I believe The Alice Poems and the Twisted Vines would have been... No, I'm sorry, Life Without You. Life Without I You. I had written, but I was sitting on the fence for quite a while because yeah. of the topic that it's on. Yeah. Um, and then the two poetry books, and then that, and that one here. The Sisters Chronicle is right. one of the latest ones. So, the latest one that you're just about to publish is called what? What's its title? Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is cool. I've never had an author forget the title of their book. I just, <laughs> oh. it was a poetry book. Okay, that's okay. Um, so, it was like one of those things that's like three in the morning, like, okay, I'm going to release this. <laughs> I don't away. remember what I titled it, but there it is. <laughs> Before we go any further with the books, let's see the artwork. Oh, yes. These are actually New Line. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Okay, can you see this? Because zero in a little. This is mixed media, right? Yes. Ah. And I have a whole line of this that I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's, I want to say I have a. Yo, here. You can get both of them. Can you get them both? <laughs> you have a, a oriental. He's saying to scoop You have an closer. oriental flair? Um. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> no further apart. What do you want? <laughs> Close side. Closer. <laughs> they are oriental with those fans. They're Japanese, aren't they? They are. They're actually from the dollar store. What? <laughs> they're from the dollar store? I got them from the dollar store. Her artwork is not from the dollar store, but the, using the, this. Yeah, just the... Weird. And you did... Uh, yep. I just found an image on Pinterest, and I just freehanded. Did freehand it. Is it acrylic? Yes. And then you, did you spray paint this all pink? Um, actually, I hand painted mm. with um, a now, have you got these into uh, galleries around? Are you selling them? Um, well, right now I sell them for my tables when I do the venues. So oh. I, I'm trying to. I did um, put in a request at the Starlight, mm -hmm. and there was a coffee shop slash bookshop in Pomfret, Connecticut that mm -hmm. I reached out yeah. to. The mm -hmm. name escapes my okay. mind at the moment um, okay. because it was one of those word of mouth, hey, check this place out. So yeah. I followed the link and... Oh, I um, think that you know, there's so, there are so <laughs> they, many places they, around that would appreciate both your work, your um, the books, as well as your artwork. Okay, now back to this. <laughs> where, first of all, where, where did you always live in Dudley? No, I... Uh, Born in Worcester, yeah. Uh, grew up mostly in Boylston, which is my mom's hometown as well. Yeah. My yeah. grandparents actually um, had a house on Main Street, and when they had first moved in, the 
fire station for the, the fire truck for that end of town was in their garage. My grandma put an end to that real quick because she had six little ones running around. Wait, going, wait, wait, what was it? The fire truck was in your garage? In the garage of my grandma's house when they first moved in. So when... Oh, <laughs> what? How did they for sell that end, her? For, for that end of town, yeah. 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 Uh, she she made, she put a nip to that real quick because at that point she had like kid number four on the way. Oh, and gosh. my mom's the oldest of six. That was your mom? Yeah. Okay, not your so, grandma. So, okay, all right. So, so well, well, my... My grandmother put an end to it. And so yeah. when my parents divorced my mom, we had moved in with her still in that house. So yeah. I think they sold that house probably almost 21 years so ago. So you kind of grew up in Boylston and then went to Dudley? Yeah. So when, once I got married, I moved to Dudley. Didn't I bring you down here via 16, Route 16, all the way down to Oxbridge, and then you just turn and head for Whitensville? On 122? Yes, I believe that's, that's took me that way. That's the way I go. I know it sounds long to a lot of people, but I just... But it's a nice, scenic, yep. calming route. It really is. Now, where have you been appearing? Um, a lot of places. Uh, I've done... Uh, at first, I started doing the um, the craft shows and stuff like that for the areas, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't really do too well there, so I started finding my niche with, like, the Comic-Cons. Comic-Cons? What's that? Uh, so, um, so, the... So my first Comic Con will be Brass City Comic Con in April, mm -hmm. but I've also been doing uh, Plastic City will be the third time this year yeah. in August up in Fishburg, yeah. Mass. Yeah. Um, I've got uh, some of the Water Lantern Festivals lined up too. I did yeah. fantastic last year at Elm Park yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Worcester. Mm -hmm. I've got two Connecticut locations lined up with them, but I'm waiting yeah. very impatiently <laughs> when is checking the Elm, their website. What is the Elm Park one? I'm waiting for the date. Okay. That's a All TBA. Right. You didn't, by any chance, boy, I always recommend my authors go in uh, December. It's annual in Rhode Island, Cranston. There is the Rhode Island Authors Expo. It, it is huge. Yes, I've actually looked into that. Oh, yeah. It's held I held a, a, a it building called out of Roads, my budget right Roads now. on the, on the um, Roads on the Pawtucket. Mm -hmm. And you walk in and I couldn't possibly meet everybody in there. I even talked to an <laughs> it, author. It looked fantastic oh, on their website. It is. I really recommend. It. If you've got a if you've got a good tolerance for a lot of authors around you, you know everybody's different. But yep. not everybody handles. Odd. And then they also have lectures in another room and mm -hmm. teaching. I was amazed. <laughs> I know the guy who runs it, so I'm thinking, wow, they must have three or four hundred in their it would be great group. Too. In their group, so mm -hmm. you figure about two hundred show up. Wow. That's a lot of people. I've never been to one that big. They used to have one up in um, <clears throat> up in the North Shore, and that one was pretty big. But this one was like almost triple the size. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, wh where should we start? Which book did you want to talk about? Your poetry. Um, we can talk about the poetry. Yeah, yeah. let's talk about that. A twisted Vine, and what was that one inspired uh, by? That well, the tw a Twisted Vine. The title came from one of my tweeters. Yeah, I uh, was stumped on a title, so I put up on Twitter. All right, guys, give me titles, book titles. And I'll pick one, and yeah. so, yep. That's how that's it came how, about. That's how the title came about, yep. <laughs> were, you write, were you writing poetry when you were a kid? All through high school. So okay. a good chunk of it, yes. I date, I date everything, so my, my early poetry books will have a lot of the stuff from, from yeah. there. I like, this one looks like, is that a porcupine? <laughs> it's supposed to be an Indian headdress. Oh, it does okay. look very much like yeah. a porcupine, yeah. and no two have come out the same when I painted them. It looks I've done like five different ones. I have uh, like an eagle hawk yeah. on one, that one. Um, goodness, I don't even remember what the other one <laughs> looks like. Each, no I love the title, can... The Frying Pan. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you have a favorite I one? Think, I think I was listening to Meatloaf when I wrote that Oh, God. <laughs> I know that I caught the chicken pox and gave it to my son. He was maybe four. And if you were an adult and you catch a chicken pox, you are wicked sick. Oh, yeah. oh, they whisked me into that doctor's office, put me in quarantine. Ugh. There's a, that your kitty cat? Yes. That's your kitty cat. Yes. Do you that, have a favorite that's that's poem? the old man. He's about 15 years old now. Oh. Do you have a favorite poem in here at all? Um, no. for that one? Let's see. <laughs> I have so many poems. My son is writing poetry. I don't think he realizes that he's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. And it doesn't have to rhyme. I, I just no. have to tell him you don't have to no, worry about that. No, definitely not. Gosh. What's the, we used to learn about haikus. H-A-I-K-U in school. Mm -hmm. Haiku is very short, isn't it? Usually. I 
Yes, I think haikus are, are showing. I have a hard time with haikus, believe it or not. Really? I just, I can't mm. always do them. Uh, I think the wolf and herself again are my Take two one and read it to us. Uh, we'll it. do the wolf. Um, I run with the wolves because I am the wolf. They don't run from me. They run to me. They run for me. They run with me because they are me. I am she. I am the wolf. I know all. I see all because I am all. Like my ancestors before me, they were one with the wolf. They are me, I am them, we are one. Ever entwined in destiny and fate, nothing will ever sever that bond. It will continue to grow ever more. I run with the wolves because they run with me. And that just came to you? you just, are you the kind that just comes to you and you just go with it? Sometimes, and then other times I have to struggle with them. Of yeah. rewording and rephrasing yeah. and stuff. Right. Like that. Did you go to college and spoke in uh, major in writing? Um, or? I'm an English major. I'm still Quinsig. I did the whole general studies mm -hmm. uh, Worcester State. I'm still. I took a leave of absence at the moment. I'll yeah. have to go reinstate myself for. It. What were you studying over there? English. English. I think I have like a handful of classes left for my bachelor's. That is great. I uh, took a leave of absence when I got pregnant with my youngest, yeah. so yeah. and I haven't been back since. That's okay. Oh my gosh. Just to, be able, <laughs> just to be able to do something when you're in that, you know, it's like, oh. So this one is the Alice poems. What's that one about? Uh, Alice in Wonderland themed. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there. So it's just, what made you think of that one? I'm very Alice-like in my nature Yeah. with things. So mm -hmm. I'm very... I think of so many different things before my foot even hits the floor. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, so yeah. I'm just. You liked the Alice in Wonderland. What was your favorite character in her books? Alice. <laughs> Alice. Oh. It, well, <laughs> besides Alice Cheshire. Yeah. I love Cheshire. He was my favorite. Was that the cat? The yes. Cheshire cat. Yes. Okay. You say Cheshire. Yes. Cheshire. I call it Cheshire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you call it tomato. I call it tomato. Yeah. <laughs> Read us one out of that. Hmm. Okay, we're talking with Sky Bovent, and she is an author, poet, and artist. And how, see, how many years have you been writing, by the way? Goodness. I graduated high school in 97. So I was writing all through high yeah, school. Yeah, all through high school. My gosh. I mean, that's for a new artist, basically. Look at all these books you have out there. <laughs> <clears throat> now, um, are you going to be appearing anywhere coming up soon? Um, Right now, Brass City in April 5th. I think I might have a psychic fair coming up in March, but I have to see if I can afford it first. Mm. <laughs> you know what? You can always. I Everyone always keeps popping up, and I'm like, I need to come up with the money to pay for all these venues you know, first. You can always. Do you have any friends who are writers? I'm trying to get one. Oh, well, hopefully she'll be published by the end of and this year. And share a table. Take I'm one table. Divide it. I'm trying to get her. You can afford baby it. steps. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, if it's like forty or sixty, it only comes to about twenty or thirty. That's pretty doable. Yeah. Um, what was I was going to say, how can they reach you, Sky? How can um, they reach you? Um, Twitter. Uh, I pretty much live on with the writing group that I'm on, so that's at S K Y B O I V I N two. Uh, I'm on Facebook. I have an author page on that, uh, which through my website, Wix site, mm -hmm. uh, Sky Boy even Wix site. Forge slash Guy Boyman author, I believe, is what it So they is. could get a hold of your book that way, right? Yeah. Is it they can also, um, Deb at Book Lovers Gourmet, she has some. Deb Orange. And she'll, she'll definitely order them, too. Okay. Um, Catnuts? They have them, don't they? They have the ISBN number, so you can actually go anywhere. Okay. And order them. So that's the Have you been cool over thing. to the uh, Enchanted... Uh, enchanted I Enchanted Gift Lofts? Yeah, it's one uh, over yes. Sutton. Have you uh, been... No. It's, no, it's a bookstore. I, the, um, actually, the Enchanted Gift Loft in Oxford. Hmm. The Enchanted, uh, I, I, you know, I always have trouble with the last word, the Enchant. but it says Sutton, I know the owner, and she has books there, a lot for children, but they're also adults and teens. She's very open. To, she's open to having the authors come. That's another good place, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, pick out a poem for us. <laughs> okay, we're talking with Sky Bogan. She's an author, poet, and artist. She's going to read a poem for us. Take My Hand. Uh, take my hand, we'll step through the looking glass. Stay, speak up a little bit there. Take my hand, we'll step through the looking glass, stripped of pretension, immersed with confession. I'll take your hand as we step through the looking glass, keeping you close as we fall down the rabbit hole. 
Take my hand as we walk across the chessboard, diminishing all rhyme and reason, forgetting all sense of time. I'll take your hand as we stroll through the Hatter's Tea Party, making sense of nonsense, leading us to now. Beautiful. The Sisters' Two Chronicles. What's that one about? This is not poetry, this one. Nope, that's a short story type of... Ooh. It's an ongoing story, actually, that I do with a writing group on Twitter. Ah. So that is... This is the background story of my character, an OC or an original character, mm -hmm. the Queen Fae. Well, it's all sky. It's about you through it. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, I pretty much Mary Sue myself into the character. <laughs> do you, like, in, in your group, do you all sit down and write something and then read it? We, um, well, it's online, so yeah. it's more of we, we kind of tweet to each other. Oh, tweet, you don't, okay. So yeah. it's, so I'll do like a thread of tweets, yeah. or I'll do like either on Wattpad yeah. or on what's called Twist Short, which you can do more than the limited characters that Twitter does itself, and then you mm -hmm. post that link yeah. onto it and That's get like it. a starter going. That's how and, you do it, yeah? Yeah. And you like how long have you been doing it? Um, I started two years ago, February, with the group. Really well. And these have all been done sharing on, online on this writers group. Are these writers from all over the world? Yes. Where's the farthest one? Um, I think the one that writes as my Sam Winchester for my group is in Pakistan. Pakistan. I've got a couple in the UK. Good. Some in California. Yeah. Uh, my role play partner mm -hmm. uh, is in in Mexico somewhere. In where? Mexico somewhere. Mexico. So it, it's fun. You get people from all over the world. Yeah. Uh, some people, uh, some of the other uh, people in my group uh, are East Coasters like us. Yeah. And they so they're like down south. You'll find down so. in the upstairs uh, the down <laughs> the Upton <laughs> Library downstairs. <clears throat> She's going to have the copies down there for you to read. And again, again, how can they get these online? How can they order them? Uh, actually, through Amazon mm -hmm. uh, for the physical copies. You can also, you should be able to go through any of the book sites like Barnes and Noble and stuff like that too. Sky Bovin, B O I V I N. <laughs> Look up her books. Now, we got that one. This one looks. Now, this one is Their Hope with the Flames, Within the Flames. Yep, Their Hope Within the Flames. It's that was a story story, right? Yes. Yeah. It's what actually a past life. A past life. What were you? Uh, so this one is sister witches during the Puritan era, mm -hmm. and they find that there's a psychic vampire in the church heading up witch hunts so that he can get their life essence for his own immortality. Ooh. And what the sisters find out is that he's someone from their past. Yeah. Uh, and I have a uh, soul sister who's going to team up with me, and we're going to become a saga series for this, hopefully. Oh, so, so you're going to write so another So this is going to be Sarah's side is uh -huh. how I'm writing, and uh -huh. so we're going to trace the sisters back in time, and she's going to do Emmy's side. Very good. Um, so it'll be a lot of So fun. you're into the supernatural. Do you like those shows on TV, Ghost Adventures and all that stuff? Sometimes I catch them, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good. You know what? It's, it's actually funny to like watch some of it and be like, ah, or yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there's an awful lot, on that particular show, there's an all over dramatic. Come on, you know. There was a good one they took off, Par uh, Paranormal Lockdown. That was terrific, with just the two, the two mm -hmm. would stay overnight. 78 hours, 73 hours could be in an asylum, it could be an old hospital, anything. They would stay there and go, you know, mm -hmm. use it. That, I believe, they weren't dramatic. That one, I, I had more. You know, when you talk about that type of thing, you, this would be great up in Salem. <laughs> Why not? They have they have book fairs, I think, up there. They have probably bookstores. Wouldn't that be a shoe in That would be great to look into that. Did that you do the fun. cover? Yes. I thought maybe. Now, how, yeah, how did that you... That was, uh, in, well, originally I started off in Vine Charcoal, and then I'm like, no. And I stole my friend slash sister uh, pastels, because I didn't have the right colors, so... I, uh, it sold, like, the Chark pastels. You like charcoal? Charcoal, the chalk pastels, those are fun. We, I um, went recently to a class, and the guy was teaching us how to do flowers with the charcoal. Or, I'm sorry, chalk. I'd rather use well, the, a marker and do it. The chalk pastels are better than the oil pastels because they're not as greasy, and they, they blend better with, like, your fingertip. Yeah. Or you can even take a Q-tip, roll it up, and... You know, a Sharpie marker. <laughs> a black sharpie marker 
is the book well, mine is totally abstract. Mine isn't like yours. Totally abstract. And for a marker, then you get it all done. Then you paint it or you color it in with the more, you know, more. That's what I like. It's, it's easy and it's fun and you can take it anywhere it wants to go. Mm -hmm. I th have you tried that yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, sh yeah. So you're basically into the painting, right? Right now my painting is what I'm doing, yeah. Show you again. Let's let's <laughs> take a look at this other one. Okay, now. Now you painted upside, upside, Yeah, down. they got it upside down. That is... Okay. Have you ever thought of um, showing in, in Chinatown or up in the Boston area at all? Not yet. <laughs> this is a shoe in a Chinatown. I, I just made them, like literally, like last month. Really? Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> many, many of the finer Chinese restaurants have really unique artwork in them. And like in the city in Boston, Worcester, whatever. You can just walk in, have your little, you know, you can get those artist things you can hold, carry mm -hmm. them, they're leather it, leather it. See, so would you be interested in maybe some for your decor? <laughs> and yes, they are for sale. So you gotta schmooze your way in. But this is your this. I could picture going into one of the finest Chinese restaurants or Japanese or Thai, you know, whatever. Can't you see yourself sitting there? E, I sure can. Looking at that, it's gorgeous. I love it. Now on this one, are you going to have anything? Uh, a, it's beautiful the way it is. You're not going to add anything more to it. No. no. What are you working on now for that? For anything um, else? I kind of took a little bit of a break for a moment, just so I could do okay. some other. I got so many different projects, so I I put one thing aside, work on it a little bit. On something oh, you're else. like me. <laughs> you're multitasking, <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yeah. And they say, "Gee, I really should finish this, but now I'm into this. I love it." Well, sometimes it's more of like this was a. I'm very angry, and I need to vent my frustration someplace. That? So I literally, yeah, I pretty much poured the pink on there. I went, and then started. But that's so, so peaceful because, looking. Because being tedious with the branches and stuff like that, it it is therapeutic, is calming. After, so as you're going through it, then it's yeah. Were yeah. you artistic <laughs> as a kid in the high school? I doodled a lot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can always tell. I you. did more of the the observing my classmates and writing things down. Yeah, I know it. I know one time it was very, very, very uh, frustrating. We were, I was in, I think, fifth or sixth grade, and the teacher, it was a picture, and she wanted us to color it. She colored it all one way. Well, I was thinking outside the box, does she mean all one way, meaning all one color? Or does she mean a direction? I did not make a friend out of her because <laughs> I did not get it. I was looking at the other kids. I know now if somebody said one way, but that could really mean a bunch of other things too. Mm -hmm. So instead of you know her getting angry about it, she would have said, oh, I see where you're going, Jan. Um, one way, just kind of keep it going in the same direction. Then I've got it. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? But also in college, um, I, I left her class. It was in uh, Fundamentals of Art. She put a big plan up there or something. She said, there, everybody, now draw it. Well, I'm not into detail that much. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, I did it. And she came over and she said, is there something wrong with your eyes? I thought, this gal doesn't belong as an art teacher. You never say that to an artist. She could have said, you know, that's an interesting take on it. Let's try this mm -hmm. with the more detail. I never went back. That's it. I, went, I decided to major in history of art. <laughs> Which was a lot easier. It really because they put the pictures up there for you and everything. Yeah. So do you think that you'd ever want to? I mean, teach art? I don't know. Um, Why not? You've got the talent. <laughs> no, 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 no. You was, yeah, I know. You got a lot of things going on. A lot of things. And you were at Staples, and they've been cutting people left and right. Yeah. Not so, a good thing. Do you think they're going to go yeah. out of business? No, it's just more of a lot of changes going on and stuff. So in order for them to afford such changes, they cut back. Where I bet that upset you, because yeah. you're counting on the you count on the income, and then so do you have yeah, to have so, two jobs? Now? So while it was cut hours, I dove into the writing. You dove into that. Dove yeah. into getting you know stuff ready for the upcoming venues and stuff. We're and talking with Sky Boven, and she is an author, poet, and an artist. You can catch all of her books <laughs> <laughs> online. You can also go downstairs to the library in Upton. Go over to the author's dedicated wall. I mean, did you see it yet? Did you have? Not it? yet. I You'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that'll be my next stop. <laughs> yeah, people will be able to, to catch these and everything. You can use my copies too. It's fine. Or put them in anywhere you want. 
I wonder when the next one's coming out. Do you know? I never know. Um, you never I've got two po I've got two short poetry books in the process right now, so mm -hmm. it's more of a matter of um, you know you, you got that minimum page requirement before you can actually release it. Yeah. Uh, so it's a matter of you know what I have photos or artwork to throw mm -hmm. into and to coordinate with the poems that I've got in them. Uh, you know, depending on also what happens to just inspire me at that sure, point right. or um, you know working on. I've got a secret project um, oh. that I'm working on. Okay, she's got a secret project. That's a no-no. You think, well, you think I can't say too much, but hopefully some comic books might be in the How works. much artwork do you have at home? A lot. A lot. Do you have your own little um, studio in the house? Well, I have a little crafting room, so I kind of That's good. hide away in there and yeah. people yell at me because I'm antisocial, but it's like... Well, it's been fun it, to have you back it, It's on. the mom room, you know. You gotta... Yeah. Mom needs her... I know what it was like. Space. I know. <laughs> Let us know when your new book comes out if you'd like, and we'll get you back on for that. And again, one last time, how can they receive all your books, Sky? Uh, online on Amazon, all the ebooks, uh, any bookshop. Deb over at Book Lovers Gourmet has uh, some of them on her shelf. She can also always order them as well as uh, Enchanted Gift Left in Oxford, Mass. Donna has a couple of. Um, copies of Their Hope Within the Flames, plus the full collection of poetry on her shelf as Book well. Book Lovers Gourmet? Does Deb Horan have them over there? Yes. Good. Yep. Okay. Thank I you mentioned for being with us. This has been great. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. It'll be my guest. Riding on a shooting star Heading out toward a dream Tomorrow's even closer Than it seems Moving through the cloud 